Howdy y'all, Mr. Kazi coming to you from beautiful Atascacita, Texas with another homework helper. And today we're going to talk about naming acids. So get your periodic table, get your polyatomic ion cheat sheet, and let's get started. First I'm going to make some assumptions. I'm going to assume that you know the periodic table, that you're familiar with atomic uh, ions or polyatomic ions, that you know the rules for naming acids, and that you underst understand oxy acids. And if you don't understand all of these ideas, you can go to my YouTube channel, type in Mr. Kazi and periodic table or Mr. Kazi and polyatomic ions. You'll come up with the lessons that you need to understand uh, how to name uh, acids. But first, it's important that you have some background. All right. So what's an acid? Well, an acid has more than one definition, actually. And sometimes an acid is defined by what it does. And sometimes an acid is defined by its composition. But for our purposes, an acid is a substance that releases hydrogen ions when dissolved in water. And we call this an Arrhenius acid. And an example of that would be hydrogen chloride. When hydrogen chloride is dissolved in water, we get hydrogen ions and we get chlorine ions. And this is called ionization, which occurs whenever a covalent compound pr produces ions in water. And the concentration of those ions is referred to as the pH. All right, so common acids. Common acids fall into two basic categories of acids. First, they are binary acids and oxy acids. So let's start with binary acids. Binary acids are aqueous solutions of a binary compound that produce hydrogen ions. And examples of that would be hydrogen chloride, hydrogen fluoride, or hydrogen cyanide. Oxy acids are aqueous solutions of a compound containing three things. First, hydrogen, oxygen, and a third element of some kind. And this involves polyatomic ions. Examples would be uh, hydrogen sulfate or hydrogen bromate. Let's name some acids. Here are four acids. And first, let's uh, notice that two of them are binary acids and two of them are oxy acids. So, to the blackboard. Looking at the binary acids first, let's bring up the rules. And one of the first things we do is we write hydro. Then, secondly, we add the root of the other part. In this case, that's iodine, which would be IOD. And then we're going to add IC and the word acid, hydroiodic acid. Let's do the next one, HBr. Well, let's write hydrogen or hydro. And then let's figure out the prefix or the root. And so we have hydrobrome, add IC and the word acid. Okay, how about oxy acids? Let's do uh, hydrogen chromate here. When it's dissolved in water, uh, we're first going to, well, let's look up our rules here. First, we use the polyatomic ion. In this case, that is going to be uh, chromate. And since it ends in A-T-E, we're going to add I-C and the word acid, chromic acid. Now, in the oxy acids, there's no hydro, just the name of the polyatomic ion. Let's do another one. Here we have uh, hydrogen chlorite, so then that's the chloride ion, and it ends in I-T-E, so we're going to add O-U-S and the word acid, and it's just that simple. Let's recap. We looked at binary acids and oxy acids. We named the binary acids, and then we named the oxy acids, and if you have any questions, Send an email to Mr. Kazi at mrkazi.com. And as always, check out my websites, mrkazi'sworld.com or mrkazi.com. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get the latest in the uh, videos. Also remember, 
There are a lot of videos there already produced. Happy Ions, everyone.